Perry Mack here for Four Wheel Drive Magazine, and we are at SEMA Show 2018, and I'm here with Mike Hallmark in the Hellwick booth, and they've got some incredible products this year. Mike, what are we going to start with? Well, we're going to start with our rate display here. This is built to people, so people have a better understanding of how our sway bars work. Uh, when people are out driving vehicles, you get in a truck or a car that handles very well, the first thing people say is, wow, whose shocks do you have? What suspension do you have? Uh, when it comes to cornering and actually handling the weight distribution going left to right, uh, the sway bar is key for that. Unfortunately, it's hidden underneath the vehicle. You can't see it. So we've created this rate display to show what it is. In this specific case, this is a rear sway bar that you get from a typical one-ton truck if you get the tow package. So this is the bar. This is me light effort pushing down on it, and it flexes a whole bunch. Right. This is designed to keep the back end of your truck flat as you go around a turn or if you have to do evasive maneuvers, aggressive maneuvers. Not very adequate. Bad news for consumer, good news for us. We get the opportunity to make a better sway bar. That's the big wig sway bar that we make for a one ton truck. One piece forged chromoly steel, it's heat treated. It has three adjustment points so you can fine tune the rate of roll you want. Essentially that creates uh, an understeer and oversteer situation for whatever your, your driving desires or needs are. So if you don't mind pushing down on that, I can show people the... <laughs> so, That's uh, so real time, here's, here's factory. Let me do uh -huh. this. Oh wow. Yeah, that's oh. huge. I mean, look at the diameter of the tube here. There's a massive difference, massive improvement on this side. Yes, definitely. So, I mean, our theme for the show this year, we're the Hellwig Load and Sway Patrol. So, we're just informing people of the need for load and sway control products. So, sway products help keep you planted, keep you safe in a turn. You're going down the highway, uh, you've got a, a, a big camper on the back, maybe a trailer, you get passed by a semi, you get kind of that shock wave from the air. Yep. Sway bars help prevent that as well, coming out of driveways. And then for the spirited drivers going through canyons on winding roads, sway bars are the best bet. Something that yeah. really keep you planted under control. Yeah, that's substantial, Mike. I'm impressed. That looks good. Thank you. Um, now, I know this isn't the only thing you've got for us today, so what do we got mm -hmm. next? So, the Waterfall of Wonder. What's going on? Uh, we'll start at the bottom. Uh, this is a new product for 2018. So, the Jeep JK really brought back the aftermarket industry with the performance products. Yep. Nothing's going to change, in my opinion, for the JL. So, we have a rear sway bar for the Jeep JL. It's two-way adjustable, and I keep speaking of the adjustments on the sway bar. What that is, is it's various mounting points on the sway bar that then changes the length of the lever. Okay. So then it either reduces body roll or gives you more body roll. Right. Uh, so this rear sway bar, we've done thorough testing. The factory unit on these, if you actually go to the rear sway bar on the vehicle, in the middle you can pull on the sway bar and flex it almost two inches. It's just, it's a thin tubular, yeah. tubular bar. This is a hot formed 4140 chrome chromoly steel with the adjustable end link so that way you can adjust the rate so you're safe at highway speeds. It really tightens up the back end. You don't feel like a wet cardboard box going down the road. The other benefit is you're not sacrificing any of the off-road capabilities. You still get full articulation. You get full bump, full droop. Nice. That's at stock height up to a five inch lift. So oh. we're not actually, we're not killing your jail. We're still letting you use it off-road. Uh, no, new thing, GM released a brand new platform for their 1500 series truck, both right. from the Silverado and the Sierra. So we've got a front and rear sway bar. Once again, these are solid bars, 4140 chromoly steel. Rear bar is adjustable. Once again, we like to give people that tunability so they can adjust the rate of roll, understeer, oversteer. Right. And then up top, this is actually the 1718 Mercedes Sprinter rear sway bar. Some people go, Sprinter, what's that? Why, why do you have that? Well, in the Overland community, it's a big platform. It's a growing platform. Yeah. People are going off-road with it. They're outfitting them to go camping in for a long period of time. Rear sway bar on those really help it out. It takes it from this high center of gravity kind of floppy driving vehicle and turns it into a basically a, a box race car. All right. Yeah. Now it's like Christmas. What's right. Next? right. <laughs> So what we have here behind us is the sway bars that we offer for side by side. So right. we don't we don't want to leave out the littlest of guys, which is the power sports market. So we have the Polaris Razor uh, sway bar here. This is for the XP 1000 and the Turbo two seater and four seater. And then this is actually the rear sway bar for the Arctic Cat Wildcat X, which we developed. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but out in the hall we have a 2018 Ford F 350 that we dubbed the okay. Operator. It's camo print. It has it's a four and a half inch lift on it with a Wildcat mounted on top of the bed of the truck. Not in the bed of the truck, but on top of the bed of the truck. So, well, we worked with Textron on that. So 
we've developed a sway bar for it. Once again, adjustable so you can adjust the rate of roll. Uh, we've done extensive testing on it. The reason we got into the power sports market is we had guys that were actually breaking the sway bars at the coin here where it flattens out or in the bend. And they said, hey, we need something. So we developed 4140 solid sway bar, put it on there. They've had great results. Not only are we trying to limit the body roll, but we want to make sure those wheels can articulate at speed, yep. especially in a side-by-side -side doing 60 mile an hour plus. Uh, the wheels dance just fine, left side, right side. It's not limiting how quickly the wheels can get back down. Nice. The number one benefit of running these rear sway bars, you want to get that back end out. You want to be Dukes of Hazard and drift around in the dirt. All you do is Scandinavian flick, it back end comes out and it'll stay there until you flick it back. We also have the 2019 Pro Series a Helper Spring. Lucky this is that. for the 19 Silverado and Sierra 1500. The benefit of our Pro Series Helper Spring is, I don't know if you can see here in the corners, yeah. this is our polyurethane silent ride feature. So what that does is it actually create space and keep space between your factory springs and our springs. So if you go over bumps or your washboard off-road, a lot of times you get a lot of bound rebound suspension. These U-bolts can clink and clack and make some undesirable noise. Yeah. Those silent ride bushings quiet it down. You don't even know it's there. Nice. Uh, and the purpose of a uh, helper spring is to keep the back end from sagging. So I tell people I've got a no saggy bottoms policy. You put a lot of weight in the back, the back end drops. You no longer have proper weight distribution over front and rear axle. Using that steel springs, it helps to lift it back up. So nice. Pro Series is good to keep you a level load capacity of around 2,000 pounds. So it's a very good, uh, inexpensive way to manage extra weight, and it's a lifetime warranty. All of our steel products are American-made, American steel, and have a lifetime warranty. Below it is something that we released this year as well. This is a single axle trailer springs. So this is for adventures, uh, trailers that you have, or even just standard car trailers. You get some weight on it, and they start to drop. You lose that actual uh, curb height for it, so it reduces sway legit roll sway yeah. at the trailer before it transfers into the vehicle. So it's a twofer. This is a, this is a double down. This actually helps maintain some ride height, but then also is a roll reduction to make it safer while towing. We have the three C's of Hellwig, so it's comfort, control, which gives you the confidence to drive down the road. Uh, below it is just more of our helper springs, showing the, the variety of what we do. This is going back to the 1718 Mercedes, the Sprinter van. Once yep. again, not only are they tall and have a lot of roll, People also put weight in them, like you said, they're making them motor homes. They have battery banks, they have water tanks, gray tanks. This helps manage it. Yeah. The great Sorry. thing about our helper springs is you don't have to put the vehicle in the air. You don't have to take the wheels off. You can bolt it right on your driveway. And if you do have more weight left side to right side, what you can do is on the ends, this is where you actually clamp or create the or increase the spring rate. So you can increase the tension. So if you have more weight on the left versus the right and you need some more support, you just crank that left side suspension down a little bit more. It gives you a higher spring rate and it makes sure you're level not just front to back, but left to right as well. Another thing that we do, especially for off-road application, is we have heavy duty end links. Uh, a lot of our sway bars come with end links. These are the end links you will see that come with the kits. 90% plus of the trucks on the market today that you buy brand new do not come from the factory with a rear sway bar whatsoever. Right. So the sway bar that I showed you earlier on our display, that's if you get the tow package. If you don't, there's nothing there. Once again, good for us because now we have the opportunity to make somebody's driving experience better. Yeah. Typically with that, not typically with that, but with those, we include our heavy duty end links. So some of these, this would be a, basically a stock height configuration. This is a configuration where uh, it's a clevis mount, we're pulling off of a different frame, and then we do extended end links all the way up to 17 inches. Okay. So if the users are out there, they have a two inch lift, four inch lift, six inch lift on their truck, we have them covered. I get talked to a lot of people and say, oh, I pulled the sway bar off, I'm too high, I don't need it, uh, and nobody makes end links. And I go, well, if you're lifted, you totally do, and I've got you covered on the end links. So, nice. all heavy duty stuff. And we've even got the kicked offset end links. You'll see the guys or people running uh, trucks with the larger four and a half, five inch exhaust. We have kicked end links to move around that. So, Perfect. so you don't have an end link running right through the middle of your muffler. <laughs> so. And then just coming down here, uh, yeah. I do have a front sway bar uh, for the box Chevy truck, so the C10, nice. 73 to 83, huge resurgence in that body. People yeah. still love them. They're timeless classic. If you're outside the show, you Absolutely. see them everywhere. So we have them for stock height, lowered height. We cover anything from late 50s Ford Chevy trucks all the way up to brand new stuff. Wow. When it comes to car bars, we start at Tri-5 Chevy and go all the way through. So we try to make sure we have good coverage, not for just new product, but for the people that are going through and doing the rest of their mods or just want to bring some modern suspension to their classic vehicle. Yeah. Our air category 
Uh, and with that, uh, you want to maintain a level ride. You can manipulate it through uh, gauges and valves. One thing that we offer is our auto level system. So what we have here is our compressor, air tank, and the air tank comes into our manual valve. So what this does is this simulates here. This is your axle, this is your third member. This is where this mounts on the vehicle. And then our valve actually mounts up on your frame rail. So you set the distance that you need between frame and pumpkin. Yep. And then no matter how much weight you put on or take off within reason, obviously you can't overweight the vehicle, not endorsing that. Uh, it maintains that right height for you. No switches, nothing going into the, the truck. You just go down the road. Then the airlines come out and they manage the bags. And since we're naturally here at the bags, these are the two airbags or air springs that we offer. Uh, this is our 5000 series essentially. This is what would be on a Toyota Tacoma, some of the lighter half ton trucks. This will keep you level up to 5,000 pounds, so it's a level load capacity. What sets us apart in the industry is this bag right here. This is our big wig bag. As you can see, I'll move it a little bit closer. Yeah. There's a slight difference <laughs> in, in volume. So, you know, you know, the old adage, no replacement for displacement when it comes to motors, yeah. same for airbags or air springs. So, to level a heavy load with a smaller 2500 series bag, you've got to get the air pressure up to 70, 80 PSI. The big wig bag will level it in about 40 to 50 PSI. So right. this feels like a pogo stick. It springs back really quickly because you have a higher spring rate. This having the larger billow, lower PSI, it rides like your factory suspension. Okay. So once again, going back to our three C's, control, comfort, it gives you the confidence to go down the road. And for, go ahead. Is this available then as a package? I call it Hellwake and I say, give if, me the air spring package. If you know the two part numbers, yes. The, okay. the way we sell our air kits is we have the air kit itself that comes with the airbag, bracketry, hardware, and the airline running out to the rear bumper. And then if you would like to add on an air solution or an air kit, we have our three different uh, air solution systems. We have our standard, which comes with a standard duty compressor and a single gauge, single switch. We have a heavy duty compressor that comes with a one gallon air tank, dual gauge, dual switch. And what that does is the dual gauge, dual switch now isolates left side to right side. So not only can you manage or manipulate the ride height front to rear, right. if you have a sliding camper and you go camping a lot, of course, even these parking lots are never level. So you can actually manipulate left side, right uh -huh. side. So not just front to rear, but now left to right. Nice. So it's not quite 16 switches, but you look pretty cool doing it in your camper. <laughs> uh, and then our other option here is our auto level system, which is by far, if you're not using a sliding camper, one of the best ones that I recommend, because you set it, forget it, you never touch it. Yeah. Yeah. So now, so if I have, a uh, for instance, like Tacoma, Colorado Canyon, uh, one of those mid-sized pickup trucks. Um, I already have an ARB compressor. I can pick up which parts. Do I need this in there in that mid-sized pickup truck for overlanding? If you, depending on what you're doing, so for the overlanding uh, community, what I typically recommend is getting a, a good compressor like you did with the ARB. And then I would recommend a three gallon air tank, something large enough that yep. if you're gonna run air tools or you wanna be able to air inflate tires right. as well, run in a tank that's actually gonna be a large enough volume so you're not sitting there for three hours trying to do this stuff. Yep. Uh, and in all honesty, yeah, my airbags don't care where their air comes from. It can be shipped in from Mars. It does not care one bit as long as it has the quarter inch lines coming in to feed it. And then you have okay. some way to regulate that air coming in and out, whether it's a manual switch, a solenoid, or you have like a manual automatic valve like this. Yeah. Yeah. You can order online. We have various uh, internet outlets to do it. You can visit our website at hellwigproducts.com. Follow us on our social media. So Facebook is Hellwig Products. Instagram is Hellwig underscore products. And then check out our YouTube because we're always doing fun stuff. So um, let me know what your favorite product is. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and we'll see you on the trails.